Good morning, everybody. Don't forget, watch till the end, subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to comment. Tell me what you guys think about this. As you're seeing, there's uh, there's pictures of TVs in Don and Candace's house in front of you right now. There's a reason for that, because I, I'm showing that, you know, there's that was pretty much a TV in every room that the children could have been in. One in the kitchen area, one in Don and Candace's bedroom. I mean, that, that one we all know about, that big TV that was pointed straight at their bed. Um, the one in what well, should have been uh, Summer's playroom or her bedroom. And we're not sure about when you first walk in the door where the, the original bunk beds, the first bunk beds are. We don't know if there was a TV in there, probably. But to get to the point, Don, if you're listening, now you were talking way back when about your seven alibis, and I know what you told me about that. You were just spouting off. You were drunk again, and you were just spouting off. You were just mad. Okay, that's fine. You say that neither you nor Candace or anybody up there done anything to the baby as far as her disappearance is concerned. Okay, well, that's that's not even what I'm speaking of right now. There have been so many people out here, and we're talking around the world, Don. Some take up for you guys, some stand behind you, some believe you of every word that you speak. Some are totally against you, and they're carrying a pitchfork, you know, a witch hunt. But there are some of us that sit on the fence about her disappearance, that is. But now there's a lot of us out there that do believe, and I told you to, you know, when I was on the phone with you, I spoke to you, told you this is what I thought, was that you possibly had diddled the baby. When CPS showed up and was getting involved, you possibly moved her out of this area, placed her in another home somewhere. Okay, well, we're, we're speaking of that. We're speaking of what may have happened before she disappeared. And I'll try to make this quick. If you go online, you can look it up. Do TVs have cameras? Do TVs have microphones? You can find all kinds of information about it, as you'll see on the screen in front of you. I've pulled up several articles online about it. When I bought my new TV, the first thing I did was go in and turn off the camera, turn off the microphone so that it can't listen to me, can't watch me. I'd already heard about it by the, you know, back in 2020 when I bought my TV. That big TV in your bedroom looks like a newer TV. I'm sure you all got it during 2020 when all the uh, stimulus checks and stuff were coming out. But getting, getting to the point, Don, you say that you're innocent. You have never abused, physically abused the boys or any of your children. You've never laid hands on them. You've never laid hands on Candace. Candace has never laid hands on the kids, and I'm sure that you've swore up and down positively that you've never touched Summer inappropriately, although you did say that she slept in the bed with, with you and Candace, or when Candace would stay upstairs, she slept in the bed with you every night of her entire life, the whole five years. And with that TV pointed straight at your bed, gotta say, you better be glad that you know, law enforcement came in and got all the digital evidence and tech, you know, the technology that they've got now, they can extract all that was recorded on those TVs and tablets and phones and all that. Because, and, and you're saying, well, the, the thing says that the TV only records, the camera wise, only records what's on the screen. Yeah, but the mic picks up conversations and everything. So no matter what was going on, you know, it records it. 
and they can extract that information off those TVs, off those tablets, off those phones. So if you're telling the truth and you're 100% adamant that nothing has ever happened inappropriately in that home, your TVs will be your alibi, right? Think about it, Don. I mean, I'm almost positive you didn't go in there and turn off the cameras or the microphones because not a lot of people know about those. So everything that happened in front of any one of those TVs did get recorded. If you dig deep enough, I should have included it. There's a video on YouTube where it shows how the TV records your voice and literally records your face. And it would record anything else that may have happened in front of it. So, and I'll ha I have one other thing to ask. I'm just asking. Now, don't get me wrong. I've, I've spoke with Margie, your daughter, over the messenger. She seems like a very pleasant, very nice person. And not trying to, look, we're just trying to find Summer. We're not trying to, I, I'm not out for a witch hunt. I'm not. But because I did say, I do believe that you placed her, placed Summer somewhere else. For whatever reason, is there a possibility that Grandis or your son Donnie or whomever, is there a possibility that she was taken to Margie's house? I mean, you told me on the phone that you had just left Margie's house. You'd went down there to see her, see the kids, her grand, her, her kids, you know, your grandkids. How many kids does Margie have? Does she only have one? Does she have more than one? If she only has one, you said you've seen the kids, so that would mean more than one. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, Don. I have gave you ample opportunity to come on my panel and sit down and have a discussion with me. We've talked on the phone. You know what kind of attitude I have. You know I'm going to be straightforward with you. I'm not bashing you. I'm asking you questions, and you have the opportunity to face me and give me answers to those questions, not that you have to answer to me or anybody else. The only person you have to answer to is the good Lord above. Are you worried about having to face him? That's all I'm asking. But if you truly want your daughter found, then you need to start talking to somebody, trying to figure something out and stop all this screaming and cussing and going off on people. If they make you mad, if they say something that hurts you, Guess what? You have a button. You can get off their panel. You can hang up the phone. You do not have to sit there and argue and scream and cuss and belittle anybody. You do not have to sit there and be belittled by anybody else. If you don't like what they're saying, hang up. Go on somebody's panel that will have a discussion with you. Or better yet, if the, the law enforcement and court, CPS, whoever told you to stay off of YouTube and don't talk to anybody, then you always have that option too. I'm just, I'm just agitated. I really want this baby found. Really want this baby found. Let me know, Dawn. I mean, maybe it is true that you don't like me. But, you know, the best thing you could probably do is stay off of YouTube. I mean, you don't even have to come on my panel. If you want to answer my questions, you have my phone number. You're friends with me on Messenger. Let me know. Could the baby be at Margie's? Is that why you went out there? Did Margie live in Utah back when y'all were on the Dr. Phil show? Is that where maybe you stopped at when you went to Utah after the Dr. Phil show? I assumed it was Clyde of Trent's. Oh, one, one more. Sorry, one more question. Why is Tim Mullins out here running up and down the backside of your property saying that he's looking for summer almost two years later? Filming it. Why didn't y'all do that when she got gone? It's your property. It's your yard. You cannot tell me that law enforcement can tell you you couldn't walk out in your own yard. See you on the next video, guys. That's my rant for the day.